Hey guys, it's Brandon with Investment Joy, and this video is about making money. Do you want to make money this year? Um, if you are really interested in making money, growing a business, investing, getting out of debt, not being poor anymore, not getting evicted, do me a favor, go to the links down in the description and join our Discord channel. I know it sounds like, oh, Brandon's going to try and sell me a course or extort money out of me or blackmail me in the future. That's not what I'm trying to do. This goal is about videos, and I want to keep all of us, including me, on the same page so that we can be successful in 2020. That's all this video is about, I promise. Okay? Go do it after this video is over. Like and subscribe. Do all that great stuff that I beg you to do anyway. No, I'm not going to pay you any money for it, but I would love it if you would out of your own good nature and heart. So... Goal number one, which is why you should watch this video, is I want to give a house away this year. I think that it would be super cool if I had this whole big deal this year on my Investment Joy YouTube channel, doing it like a documentary type deal on the what does it take to give a house away, meaning finding a sponsor. I want to, I need to get about 25k to to do the, this promotion that I want the legal pitfalls, because you can't just give away a house. And the after the fact, I don't know if you guys have ever watched those shows like the Complete Home Makeover. Um, when they give people new houses, a lot of the time it ruins their life. And I would love to do a video series on whether, does, does giving somebody a house um, ruin their life? And it, when I say a house, I mean like a rental house. I don't mean like a gorgeous 3-2 mansion with two-car garage. I would love to go out and buy a house here where I live. They, you know, I can buy one for 15 k 20 k put some money in it, fix it up, put tenants in it, and run a promotion, give it away with um, a tenant installed maybe, if that's legally possible and have it managed by a local um, property management company. I think that would be fun. Uh, comment below if you think it'd be fun. But I think it'd be cool to give somebody their first rental. So that's like my one goal this year that I really would like to do and do that by the end of next year. Um, so goal number one this year. Goal number two that I have this year is to make $2 million. I know the video says let's make a million dollars this year, but um, that's not my goal. My goal is to make a million dollars just on my rental side of business. And if you guys understand, I don't run just one business. I have 140 rentals. I have three laundromats. I have the YouTube channel. And I do other things, too, to bring in money. So I'm hoping to make a million dollars off just my rental business, just the trailer park income, my rental income. Um, I think I can do a million dollars. I think I can do 1.2 million this year just off that. And then have laundromat income. I want to make like 300,000 off the laundromat. Um, and the way that I would do that would be get the other ones up and running and add wash dry fold, which is like a where people can drop off their laundry. I know I get comments all the time about doing it. It's just I've been so busy with YouTube stuff. Um, so I want to do that. That's at like one, one to 1. 1.3 to $1.5 million, just those two things. And then the third thing that I want to do is I want to refinance my trailer park because I think I can get it up and running this year. Um, I think I can get that done in the first four months this year, get them rented out and do a cash out refinance. Um, you guys, some of you have heard about something called BRRR, buy, renovate, rent, refinance. And that's kind of my goal with the trailer park. Um, to do that and then refinance out for about a million dollars. I think I can do that and that would add an extra million dollars. So that now we're at uh, what, 2.2 million to 2.5 million. And then I want to, on top of that, um, I want to make at least $250,000 off the YouTube channel, which I think I can. My, my, my watches have slowed down a little bit, which is fine. You know, I'm, I, I, this YouTube stuff has blown up so far, so far beyond my, hopes and expectations for last year that, you know, anything's possible. So $250,000 a year, why not? Um, so that's my goal. So now we're at like 2.5 to $3 million and hopefully I can hit, um, two to 2.5 million of that. We'll see. And you guys can watch the, the YouTube channel and get on discord and see if I can hit those goals and keep me accountable because, you know, I think it'd be f a fun project to keep each other accountable, which is why I want you to go to get on discord and go in the goal chat because my goals as a real estate investor and in these millions of dollars isn't the same as yours. Um, I've talked to people that their goal this year is to graduate. Some it's get out of debt for credit card. I got, um, some people that will pay off college loans, other people that want to buy their first property. Each of us have different goals. And I think if we would keep each other accountable, it would be really cool. 
accountable. Um, you know, I'll keep you accountable if you keep me accountable. Let's go, yay. And it's free. My other goal this year is to help a friend of mine, his name's Eddie, we'll be doing a video probably tomorrow or Friday with him on his dream of he wants to start his own gym. Uh, for some reason, there's been so many people that have contacted me off YouTube saying, Brandon, you need to buy a gym. And I have no interest in buying a gym. I have no interest in starting a gym. But I would love to help my friend start his very first gym. And we're going to be doing content on his gym startup, so be watching that real soon. But he needs a lot of help. He has no experience in real estate. His house, or at least I don't think he does, the house he lives in is actually a rental. He doesn't own his own house now, so he wants to go from not owning his own house to owning his gym. Um, I think that'd be a cool, awesome video series to do. And we're, I'm hoping to start on the first section of that um, this week. Um, so be watching for that. So that's goal number three this year. My fourth goal this year is to live stream three days a week. And I want to do it for my friend's gym. I think that would be really cool because he's a he was like one of the most motivational human beings that um, I run into. He's my personal trainer. And every time I work out with him, I know it looks like... Um, you know, this fat hillbilly guy talking to me. But I've actually lost like 70 pounds. And I want to lose another 20 this year. And he's going to help me with that. But I also want to do live streams as I work out and talk to people. Because he, me talking to him is motivational. And I think that if I could get him on to talk, on YouTube, because he, he has a channel with like 10 subscribers. I think that if we could get him and talk to you guys, you would be more motivated this year. Because um, motivation is this whole, whole key. Um, I am around such good people in my own life on a daily basis almost. I'm around landlords. I'm around good people. I'm around people that are motivational. And they help hold me up and keep me accountable and keep me on the same page. But a lot of people don't have that opportunity. So I think a live stream to do that and try and bring people in around other good people would help. Hopefully that makes sense. Does that make sense? My last goal, and this thing is so personal and awful and big, it's crazy. And we're at my, um, the building where my office is. I know this isn't my normal office where I have, um, I do my live streams and stuff. And the reason I'm wearing a suit is because it's January the 1st, 2020. And we're in the 20s and I saw all these memes that said, oh, everybody's going to wear fitted suits this year. And so I have not seen a single human being wear a hat or a suit today. So I feel kind of like an odd duck, but I'm an odd duck anyway. Um, you know, I have a YouTube channel, so a lot of people don't do that. I also drive a Kia, which a lot of people do that, but they're also not big time landlords. So wearing a suit, driving a Kia, being a bit landlord, owning 140 rentals with a YouTube channel. I, there's not anybody out there that does that. So me being an odd duck with, with the suits, not too bad. So this is my office here. Um, it's, well, this is the building my office is in. My brother actually, his wife runs this whole facility. It's 68,000 square feet. And I rent a little office off in the distance. And that's where my guitar amp and we do the live streams and stuff. I figured I would do it somewhere other than my office because my office is full of crap. Um, but going back, I want to get organized this year. And I am one of the most disorganized human beings on the face of this planet. <laughs> and I watch these YouTube channels on financial guys and they all say, you need to be, you need to be organized to be wealthy. And that's not true. It helps a lot. And this year, if I'm not organized, I will lose no less than a million dollars. I'll probably lose two or three. I, I, I did the numbers the other day and looked at all of the things that I've lost out on business deals and it's probably between five and $10 million. And that should depress people or should depress me, and but it doesn't, and it, it hasn't motivated me. I also got time crisis too here in my office. It doesn't work. I mean, it doesn't work well though. Um, so I'm this hugely disorganized person, but I'm okay at math anymore. I failed math in high school, but as an adult in real estate, I'm good at math. I'm good at negotiating. I'm good at marketing. Um, you know, I've I got one of the largest real estate Facebook pages in the state of Ohio. I've got a YouTube channel. I, I've got this newspaper that I'm involved in. So I do these things and they're very, very successful, but I'm disorganized. And I'm at this point that I realize that every time I add a skill, it increases my, my level of success or my chances of success. It's hard to be, be disorganized, bad with finances, bad at marketing, bad at negotiating and being rich. But if you lack like one of those things, 
you'll do well. And my thing that I lack in a terrible fashion is organizational skills. I suck. And if you guys notice um, on our last video, the Ridge sponsored us. And this video is not sponsored by Ridge. Um, they paid for sponsorship on a couple videos. This has nothing to do with them. And the, the, they paid me some money and they sent me an email and said, Brandon, anything you want from us, send us um, some SKU numbers or what it is you want and we'll send you mail. And I asked for like $300 worth of crap. And they sent it to me and I was like, oh man, you know, if I'm doing this influencing marketing campaign, I probably should have a wallet on me. And I sat this thing on my desk. And to be honest with you guys, like a $150 wallet is the last thing that I would ever buy in my life. I'm the kind of guy that would rather have a wad of bills with a rubber band around it than one of these. But I sat on my, it's been sitting on my desk for over a week now. And I said, as I looked at it, I realized, Brandon, your, your life is like this wallet. Um, these wallets are for organized people. And they would make sense because um, I, I'm friends with several multimillionaires. And I showed them this wallet that I got. And they're like, holy crap, Brandon, you're sponsored by The Ridge. That's an awesome wallet. All of me and my friends have those wallets. And they're cool. And I said, why would you... Why? Don't you have cash? Well, no. No one has cash anymore. We have like three cards and that's it. And I was like, oh, wait. These people are also organized. And they're also filthy rich too. And I thought, man, you know, I'm losing so much money on being disorganized. If I would get organized, I would kill in 2020. So I started getting organized, not today. I started it after uh, Christmas. And I was like, everything that I do in life is going to go on my Google Calendar, which I've never done before. I'm, I kid you not, I've got more done in the past uh, three days than I probably did in two, two to three weeks because everything's going in an organized task list and I'm working down one, two, three, four, five. And I did the very last thing, and I'll tell you guys about this. I did the last thing that's disorganized. And I offered to go get one of my tenants' uh, mouse poison. And I know that sounds weird. And why, what's that have to do with this organization? But I have a list of things that I'm supposed to do, and I've had this list for years, things I'm supposed to do for my tenants and things I should never do for my tenants. And one of the things on that list is never run an errand for a tenant. Unless the lease says I have to do it, I should not be doing those things. And this lady messaged me and she said, Brandon, please go get me mice poison. Um, this is probably a month ago. And I said, all right, I'll go get you mice poison. And then over the holiday weekend or you know, Christmas, um, New Year's, stuff like that, she sent me three really nasty text messages saying, Brandon, why did you agree to do these things for me and then never do them? And I said, I'm sorry. I'm disorganized. And most of the people know me, know that I, I am disorganized. I said, I'm sorry. I'm disorganized. I promise I will get you mouse poison today. And I went to the store, I took 30 to 45 minutes out of my day, yes, this is all yesterday, and I bought the lady mouse poison, I dropped it off at her house, I said, I'm in a rush, I have to go do other things. I put it on top of your mailbox, I took a picture with my cell phone, I texted it in front to her. And five minutes later, I had another nasty text from her saying, you know, WTF, why did you do this to me? I told you I wanted roach poison. And I said, what? What, what are you talking about? She, she went on this whole long rant. Brandon, I told you I needed my roach poison. And I pulled up the screenshots of prior text messages and voicemails, like my Google voice to text, where she said, Brandon, you know, why the F don't you get me mice poison? I said, and it's like, I wasted 45 minutes yesterday just to get cussed at because I violated one of my policies that I've had for years. Don't run errands for tenants. And I know, I know that's a weird thing, but I really like my tenants and I want to be a nice guy. And, but I violate these rules all the time. It's due to me being disorganized. I say, yeah, um, don't call my assistant. Cause I did hire an assistant recently. Don't call my assistant. Just call me. I'll take care of it. And I agreed to do something I shouldn't be doing. So there you go. Those are my goal lists. There's my, let me, that's my list this year um, for my goals. It's going to go on Discord. Go on Discord, please. Sign up and let's keep each other accountable for 2020. And let's make a lot of money together. And I want, I promise you guys, it is my goal to help you because you guys are helping me. Not through just ad revenue, but you guys can keep me accountable too. So uh, like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I really, truly appreciate it.